Hey there and welcome back to the video series. So we created the layout file in the previous video and we also created one of the views, a really basic one though, that extended the layout. So let's put the actual code in here that will make it a little bit prettier and let us do something real with this application so that we can input a new product. And uh, we got the create product right here. I think I'm just going to remove this one here and and I'm just going to copy the code uh, in here and then explain what is going on in this create uh, view right now. First off, if we take a look at how it looks when we update it, we have a basic UI where we can input our name for our product and we can also put in the details and then we can submit it. All right and then we can go back to the basic route. So what is going on here? Well, we still have the extents where we will extend the basic layout and then we create a new row with some bootstrap CSS classes and then we have the title here, add new products. So that is basically HTML as we know it. Then we have a blade construct right here that will take us back and this will use the blade uh, syntax here where we can input some dynamic information and then we tell Blade to uh, give us the route for products index. And that is just going back into the product here. You can see nothing happens here, but that is basically what uh, this will do to us, that it will go to the products. So that is a, a Blade syntax right here. Then we also have when we will uh, get to the point where we can create a product, if we didn't validate correct, if we didn't input the correct information, if we forgot some information, then we can validate it and we can uh, post an error message to the user. So this is what happens here and we can see that we are, uh, again, we're writing blade syntax and you can go and look up uh, the actual syntax in the documentation. You can see if statements will explain what is going on here and what you can use it for. So uh, then we go down to the actual form. We can see we have a form here and we uh, make the input fields, the name, the input type uh, using Bootstrap and we have the submit button in the bottom here. A uh, thing of interest is that again we have a blade syntax here where we tell Laravel that when we submit it we should go to the route for products store. So this will be the, uh, if we go to our controller, this will be what happens here when we should store a newly created resource in storage. And then we need to write the code for that. Okay. So that is basically what happens here. And finally, we got another blade directive here for the cross-site request forgery. And this is a, a security mechanism. And you can also go look this up, CR, uh, CSRF field. Uh, this is something that you should put in your HTML form in your application that will protect against cross-site request forgery. Okay. So this is what will happen in the create blade file. But we can see that whenever we use this in our application, if we refresh it and we type some information here, nothing really happens because it just goes to products and it actually goes to the store, but nothing really, we haven't defined any code in there. So let's do that. So what should happen in the store? Well, if we put some comments here, first we should validate the input. It's also always good practice to validate the user input. And then, then we should uh, create a new product. And then we should redirect the user and send friendly message. So first, how do we validate the input? Well, Laravel also comes uh, included with functionality that will allow us to validate the input that we get from the users. So how do we do this? Well, we can see we have a request in the input, oh, and then we should send a response to the user when we exit from this function. 
But first, we will take this request that we get as a parameter, and then we just call validate. And what do we need to validate? We need to validate the name and that should be required and detail whoop, should also be required. So this is one way of letting Laravel know that these two input fields are required. Whoop. So the user needs to input them. Otherwise we will get an error message. Yep, so that is the validation comes out of the box, uh, built into Laravel. Next, we are going to create a product and we will have our, let's see if we have it up there. We have our model right now imported into the controller so we can use our model and we can just write create and then we use our request and we hit all there. So this will create the product in the database. Finally, we're going to redirect the user uh, to what route. We're going to redirect, redirect them to the product products and to the index. We haven't created this one yet, but we will. And we will send some data with it and we're going to send success criteria so we can use this data in our view and the message should be product created successfully right so we haven't actually created the index but we will do this in the next video uh, we can see that if we go back here and create a new product. Detail. We can see we get an, an error now. It says a uh, mass assignment exception. We have to add uh, an array to allow mass assignment. Okay, so what does that mean? We need to go to the model that we created the product because we have not allowed Laravel to create or to mass assign a new product uh, into, um, into the application. So we need to do this in the model. So we go to the product and it's actually pretty simple, a small modification. We need to make um, an array here called protected, uh, fillable, whoop, fillable, it's just an array where we specify which properties th is allowed to be mass assignable detail. So we have the fillable and we specify that the name and the detail is allowed to be mass assignable. So if we head back and we refresh product one, product one detail, So we can see we don't get any success message. That's that's because we haven't defined the, the index route yet. But if we go back and take a look in our database, we refresh that and go to products. We actually have a, a product in our database now. So it seems to work. If we go back, take number two, submit that. Still, we don't get any confirmation that we created anything but we can see that we have a new product in the database so the code is working and uh, we have uh, coupled our product controller the create view and the actual code that will store a new product with the view in here okay and if you want extra information about the uh, about the let's say here Fillable, mass assignable, mass assignment. Whoops. Then you can get information on why we have to create this fillable array to allow 
uh, a user to mass assign a new um, a new object as we did with the product okay so th i think this is enough for this video i don't want this to get longer than it already is so i'm just going to um, stop the video here and uh, in the next video we will continue on creating the views and creating the creating the index that will allow us to list our products all the products we have in the database so i hope you make this work and have fun with this bye bye